Hi guys, SDJR Senef88 speaking with another instalment of Wagon Review Week. And uh, this review is quite a special review as it is um, another, uh, well, a quite recent uh, wagon to come out on the market. And the wagon in question is the Batman Cove Hop. Now this came out a couple of uh, months ago, um, about two months ago. Uh, as you know, I bought this at the Swindon. Uh, no, not Swindon. I said that in the actual uh, video, didn't I? When I did a, when I did a, um, when I mentioned it in my new editions video. But no, I actually got it at the Shepton Mallet Toy and Train Fair. <laughs> Sorry about that because I'm still I'm thinking about Swindon uh, Railway Festival already, <laughs> which I tend to go to every year. But anyway, I got it at the Shepton Mallet Toy and Train Fair for a bargain price of £14.75. Uh, As you can see, the recommended retail price is around £17, £18. Pounds. Uh, but uh, down there, um, I got it off of a, a Richards Railways stand, and I got it for £14.75, pence, which is absolute bargain for the, these wagons. It is in, as you can see on the end, it is product code 38500, and it is a covered uh, uh, hopper wagon, or cove hop, in BR Bork type livery, uh, which is basically you know, um, well BR Bork type, which means it's a fitted wagon. That means it's got it's got air uh, vacuum brakes. Um, uh, basically, there are three on the market at the moment. Well, I say three. There are two actually on the market when I film this um, the, uh, review, um, which is this one. This was the first to come out, and also there's uh, another one in Bork type livery, and it has a uh, British British sands on the side of it uh, in a black banner sort of thing I think it's British sands I'm not sure I know it's British something but it's down the side there and it's basically the latest uh, the later of the uh, period wise of the three the one that hasn't come out is in a stunning BR grey which I presume is an unfitted one because I did do a bit of research into them and um, uh, they did um, a first couple were unfitted, I believe. Uh, they were built from 1951, I believe, to, to 1962. Uh, I may be wrong there, but that's, I think that's where I did, I've got, did a bit of research from. Uh, but they also had different axle boxes, which I'll uh, mention later in the review. And I know that the grey one has the um, older type axle box, but this is the, the sort of the, 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 the axle box, the more common axle box that were fitted to these uh, due to wear and tear of these wagons. But anyway, um, let's get the box open and have a look at her on the track. So be back in a mo. Here she is. And uh, what can I say? The detail on this is outstanding. Uh, like always, we'll start from the top. As you can see, they've got these uh, like running boards up here, uh, like the well, like walkways along the side of the the fillers. Um, I presume they're the fillers, where obviously the uh, the 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 powders, the ash, or whatever was being loaded into these uh, vehicles would have been loaded in. But you can see they've really really captured these uh, boards on here. I'm not sure if they would have been made out of metal or wood. Can't really tell. But um, there doesn't appear to be any wood effect on them. Nope. But these la these latches and you know and um, latches and locks and hooks sort of thing on the on the top of the uh, around the doors here are absolutely oh, well. I just very very well picked out. If I can zoom in there, yeah, as you can see, all separate. They're not as if they're molded to the the yeah. They're yeah. You know, it's not as if they're the the, the hooks are like molded. To the side, you you to the bottom of it. There actually are. There is a gap between the them and the actual top of the body. I'm not sure if you can see it on that one there, but there, there is. All right, we'll come on to the end. And um, as you can see, we've got all those little uh, warning badges uh, there, the overhead cables. Because these uh, wagons were commonly, as I mentioned, seen on the eastern region, and quite often they were pulled by uh, electric trains. Uh, with the overhead um, cables, overhead power, um, quite a lot of uh, 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 footage. Well, you can find on YouTube footage and also pictures on uh, Google and stuff of uh, of those sort of trains. But as well as uh, these being in the rakes, there are also uh, grain hoppers, which ironically Batman are also um, uh, also announced um, that they are making. There's there's no word on the prototype yet, but they are making grain wagons as well. Uh, which these were commonly seen with, and those grain wagons were also loaded with the same sort of goods that these were. So it showed how desperately needed these wagons really were. Um, let me come on to the buffer beam. As you can see, got lovely rivet detail around there, uh, around the uh, buffer where the, where the buffers are, are you know, obviously bolted and riveted to the 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 frame 
Also, you've got the supports on the end. They've also got rivets on. And also, you can see the bottom half is painted black along with the buffer beam. Then we come onto the side of the wagon itself. Again, we've got more um, overhead warning um, badges. Two of them there. Also, we got um, we got a plate here. Oh, it's legible. Let's have a little zoom if it focuses. Um, it's a bit blurred uh, from what I'm seeing. I'm trying to read off the screen again. But I presume that's weights and stuff on there. I zoom out again. Then we've got a really, really big badge on the centre here, which, believe it or not, it's absolutely, which is clearly legible. Let's have a look. Go on, zoom in just right. Yeah, to open bottom doors from this side, um, rotate the handle to stop the release gravity catch. Turn uh, operating collar away from hopper with a key inserted and or a, a bar in the top side. Um, can't make out the last one, what does I say? Hole. A uh, hole. <laughs> but yeah, it's all clearly legible. That is absolutely amazing. And then there's also, um, obviously, the, the, oh no, here's the, the, the type of wagon, here's the um, actual uh, badge for the wagon, which lists what type it is um, and what category it comes under. CHV, I presume that is short for Cov Hop. Um, Cove Hop vehicle. Um, then you got 26 tons on there. And then you got the tear weight, and then also you got the running number of this um, wagon, which is B870812. Well, the Batman have done an excellent job on this. Then we got the chassis itself. Uh, as you can see, it's got the again the builder's plate and again the running number. And then we come on to the axle boxes. Now this is the uh, roller bearing axle boxes, I believe. Um, the grey one, which I, I probably might have mentioned, uh, also uh, comes with sort of like the original sort of like axle box you see on you see on most normal wagons. But this has got roller bearings, and then you have got all this beautiful uh, brake uh, rig in here. And I presume there is that catch. Um, under there, which um, makes some gravity, um, you know, which meant that they could be unloaded by gravity, where they went over like a sort of switch in the track, and then all the powder and the goods or whatever was inside the gra uh, the, the 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 powder, sand, whatever, would fall out into a catching um, place wherever it was being uh, unloaded to, because you know, so basically the train just drove over it very very slowly, and it automatically unload itself. Uh, but that's what I presume anyway. And then the other end is basically precisely the same. So anyway, that's all for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Another one of those stunning new uh, wagons, which has only just been released by Batman. Um, I, I, as of filming this review, the grey one has still yet to be released, but the uh, I think it's the British Sands one. Um, I, I think it is, but it basically has a black banner along the side of it saying British Sands or Glass or something over on the side of it. I forgot what it is. But um, that's the latest of the lot. Um, but this one and that one are available. Uh, the grey one is yet to be released, which is the Soda Ash one, I believe. But um, yeah, absolutely stunning. I would highly recommend it, especially if you're an Eastern modeler. But like me, even if you're even if you're not an Eastern modeler, it's just a stunning wagon and very very interesting to have in a freight rate because I do like having a mixture of wagons in the freight way, in a in a freight train, and this certainly fits the bill. So anyway, um, I hope you all enjoyed this review, and of course, the next video is of course the last uh, review of Wagon Review Week before the much anticipated running video. So uh, stay tuned for the last review. So anyway, this has been SDJ Arson, F88 speaking, and uh, thanks for watching.